Hi, this is Asing. You are now watching Asing SL TV. Consider this addresses. If I'm asked to apply bulk formatting only to the poster code, it is time consuming to change the formatting manually. To simplify the task, let's create a macro. Go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Insert a module. Start by giving it a name. Let's say change format. We need a for loop to run through all cells in the selected range. For this case, I should run it from B2 up to B11. Type the range within a setup quotation box. Since the addresses are not fixed, we should first check the string length of the cell. Create a variable, say SL, to determine the length of the string in the selected cell. Next, use a for loop to iterate from the first character to the last. Next, check if the selected characters match the text format that we need. Use if statement together with mid function. Refer to cell and we should start at i character. Since the poster code is always a 5 digit number, let's fix it at 5. Use light operator to check the pattern. For this case, it is a 5 digit number. Use one hashtag for one digit and we need five type within a set of quotation marks if this is the case then we should change the formatting refer to the cell use the characters property and we need two parameters one to determine which character we start and one to determine the length of the string always start at i with five characters let's focus on the form followed by the formatting that we wish to apply that is bold set equal to true if this formatting is applied we should exit this for loop. Start with if and with if. Finished one character, proceed to the next. Finished one cell, move on to the next. Click on run and all postal codes are now bold. To apply italic, change bold to italic. Click on run and we should have the result. Do the same thing for underline if necessary. On the other hand, if we wish to apply this formatting automatically in the future, let's copy this code and move to the desired shade. From the list of objects, select work shade. From the list of procedure, select change. Paste the code here. Replace the first line using if statement together with the intersect function. This allows us to check if the target cell is in the selected range. Let's say I would like to apply this formatting for the entire column B. What we need here is something. Unfortunately, we do not have a good call something, but we have nothing and not nothing indicates something. If this is the case, then we should run the following codes. Next, replace cell with target. Press Ctrl H. Let's find cell and replace it with target. We must replace all of them. Click on OK and close it. Lastly, since we start with an if statement instead of a for loop, replace the last next with an if. And we are done. Back to spreadsheet. If I add a new address, the post decade will be bought automatically as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.